Welcome to another edition of Eat the Week. I'm your host, Harry Foodie Guy, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing farm foods, fish and chips. I fancy some. You know, it's like, you know, you get a craving. I know it's not even Friday here, but it might be Friday when I release the uh, video. So welcome to Fish and Chip Friday. <laughs> so this was nice and cheap. So here, so we got these little things for $1.99, the gastro... Signature breaded lemon and pepper fish fillets. Doesn't say what fish it is, but I don't really care because it's all proteins. And then I've got sweet potato fries that were on a cheap deal as well. And you can't really have fish and chips without mushy peas. So I'll have to dig out the vinegar because you've got to have vinegar with mushy peas, haven't you? So I haven't got gravy. I could make gravy, but I don't know whether they go with sweet potato fries or not. If I had normal chips, I'd, I'd be hankering for gravy. But there you go. So it's uh, fish, fish and chip Friday. On a Thursday or a Wednesday or whatever day it is. It doesn't matter. It's the magic of YouTube, isn't it? So I'm going to bang these in the air fryer and cook them with the power of solar. Just as I was undoing the box, I've noticed this. Perfect for air frying. I've never seen that on any box product ever. That's amazing how these uh, companies have like got on with the fact that air fryers exist now and everyone's using them. That's fantastic. First impressions are good. That's massive. It's like, I'm, yeah, nice and thick. Smells good. That's just frozen. Oh, I think this is going to be good for $1.99. Slight technical problem. They don't fit. But hey-ho. Oh, the reveal. That is a banging meal for under £3. I think you're looking at about, I don't know, £2.75 worth of food there. But look at it. The fish is huge. Smells great. Those sweet potato fries were really cheap. I think they were like one thirty nine or something. And that was like only a quarter of a bag. And they're just co-op mushy peas, I think. So, and I, you know, they, they're about 20p a can. So, might be more expensive now. Who knows? They were when I bought them. Oh, look at that. Banging. Oh, so, that took 25 minutes, actually, in total, in the air fryer. So... It's rinsed half of one of my solar batteries, but it was worth it. This looks really good. Um, but in that 25 minutes, I managed to have a beer, hoover, and play a quick round of Clash of Clans. The important stuff. <laughs> so I put just put vinegar on my, in my mushy peas. I'm a bit of a weird one when it comes to vinegar. I love vinegar flavour. <laughs> in fact, I've got a hot and sour soup here. A cup of soup. That, that's how much I like the vinegar. So that, that I might I might as well pimp it that while I'm in. Because it's a bachelor's one. And it's not as good as the Ainsley Harriet's. So I put a bit of um oh, miso soup in the bottom for health benefits, and then I've just whacked a bit more vinegar in. But for those of you that may or may not know me, I never have vinegar on chips. I think it's weird. But I don't use a lot of salt in cooking except on stuff like this. You can't have chips. There's two items in my life that I have sought on religiously. Chips and tomatoes. Because we shouldn't really be eating too much salt because it makes fluid pool around your heart and makes your heart harder to pump. And nobody told me that. I had to find that out for myself. It's not, not common knowledge. They just say, don't eat much salt, it's bad for you. But they don't tell you why. And if, they, if I have a logical reason to not eat something, or, or restrict it, you know. I think a logical reason that it, it makes your heart harder to pump is a, is a fair one anyway. So, right, let's get into this. So, under three pounds for a massive plate full of food. The only thing I'm missing is mayonnaise. Eh. It's only vegan mayonnaise. <laughs> Not that I've got anything to get vegans or vegan mayonnaise, but. Mm. Oh, these are really good. You can tell by my silence. Mm. So the cheap sweet, sweet potato fries from Park Foods tastes as good as any sweet potato fries I've ever had. 
for double the price. These are banger. Mm. I could literally eat a whole plate of those. Getting some of these mushy peas. Mm. Believe it or not, it needs more vinegar. Come with the old sarsens, malt vinegar. Oh, I do like vinegar on cabbage as well, which some people think is a bit weird. So if you've seen any of my roast din dinner videos, you're like, why is he putting vinegar on cabbage? So apparently, it's a Jewish thing. People, if, if there's anyone Jewish watching this, you can correct me or not, whether Jewish people put um, vinegar on cabbage. But my, uh, my grandparents told me that and said that we have Jewish descendants and uh, not just Viking ones. And that's why I like vinegar on cabbage, apparently. It's in my DNA. Right. It's all amazing. I'd be happy if I got this from a fish and chip shop. Can you imagine how much this stuff, much fish would cost these days in a fish, from a fish and chip shop? This would be like a 12 or 15 pound meal. Looks great, smells great. Mm. Lemon and pepper. So I'm just going in for another bit because that bit had had vinegar leakage. Well, this bit's gonna have crummy leakage. It's really nice fish, like really nice consistency. It's, it's whole fish. It's not like pappy crap, you know, and it's the Young's Gastro Signature Breaded. So I prefer the breaded to um, battered. I don't know. It just seems healthier. don't know whether it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is like a nice piece of fish. And I can't believe that, that was a, they were a pound each. Mm. and that lemon does actually cut through because sometimes when you get these like gastro fish things like you know that they say they're a flavor but you can't really taste the flavoring but this is actually really pleasant it doesn't feel like i'm eating a cheap meal at all i'd be happy if this was served up to me in a restaurant mm. Wow. I'm absolutely loving this, as you can tell. Hmm. This is a 10. Farm foods. Yeah, they sell a, a bunch of other stuff that's not very healthy. But if you're selective of what you buy from farm foods, you know, you can get some good food. They've got a whole roast chicken here. A whole frozen chicken, sorry. For £2.49. I mean, it's probably not good chicken, but £2.49 in, in, this, in this day and age of, like, food crisis for a, a whole chicken, that's mad. Hmm. Right. I'm just enjoying eating. It's just turned into an a, a ASMR mukbang because I'm eating with my mouth open. So there's your ASMR bit. Mukbang, it's just pretty standard for my videos, isn't it? Because it's just basically a waffle. Yeah. Mm. I'm really liking this fish. So yeah, if you want a bargain, check out Farm Foods. I'd only been in there this year. And they do my favourite crisps as well. They're expensive, but they make they do Takis crisps, which are really spicy. They're like a Mexican crisp. Um, if you haven't tried them, you really should. There's two small packets for three quid, but they are so damn good. I was addicted to them when I was living in the States. I was probably getting through like three family bags a, a week. But they've got like really mad food colouring on them. 
I'll say it. I wake up in the morning and look at my hands and it'll be all red and I'll be like, oh. I'll be like, oh yeah, sorry, I was eating tackies last night. Mm. Oh. All right. I've still got more, like a whole piece of fish there. Tons of chips. This is such good value for money. So, yeah. Definitely a 10. I, I can't fault this in any shape or form. Boom! Mm. I suppose I better have a sip of my soup and see whether pimping a batch of hot and sour soup has improved it. I bought it just to compare to Ainsley, but I knew deep down in my heart that Ainsley would be the winner. It tastes like minestrone soup, even though I pimped it. Bachelors, meh. Ainsley, whee. So. Oh, yeah. That's yummy. I hope he's not the BBC presenter that everyone's talking about. I don't even know if he works for the BBC still. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Me going, I love Ainsley. And it turns out to be Ainsley. But it's at the centre of all this scandal at the moment. But I don't normally do topical things, do I? Mmm. But I was scanning through after reading the news, you know, that this BBC person has been alleged to do this and alleged to do that. And they're not naming him. So I was like, and then other people were saying, yeah, but everyone knows already. I'm like, well, I don't know. So I did have a little look. But it's all speculation. I'm not going to name any names. Although I just did. So I hope it's not Ainsley Harriet. Actually, I do hope it's not him. But then there's been a couple of other names come up as well. I really hope it's not them. So, you know, so yeah, well, I guess we'll wait and see, eh? Another BBC scandal. What a shocker. Mm. Oh, right. You've definitely got a good mukbang at me today. I've waffled on about loads of crap. Classic clans, bachelor's cup of soup, BBC scandals. <laughs> but the more important thing, it's me going on a mission to keep money in your wallet. By doing news reviews of affordable foods that aren't going to necessarily kill you. <laughs> so, right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have to secretly get my vegan mayonnaise out there. Food off camera. And, uh, and carry on banging this down my face. This is delicious. Oh, right, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you don't subscribe, please do. If you like the sound of banging forks. And uh, click the notifications bell and all that. Give it a like. And if you do, if you really love caring, then sharing is caring. Mm. See you later.